Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my late update for Fifty Shades of Green. Sorry, I'm still trying to catch up. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Jessica and Jessica, Amanda, and Jana. And this project we brought in 50 items that are somehow related to the color green. Could be green packaging, it could be green in the name, it could be a, an item in the name that's green. So, can be green in any way. And I am working on, a, I mean, out of the 50, I'm working on a bunch right now. So this update can probably, it's probably going to take a while. Sorry, words. But I am happy to share. I have several items that have rolled out of this project. So I'm rolling out six. So I'm very excited. Let me share with you what these are. I think these are all empties. The first I have is my Bath and Body Works Waikiki Beach Coconut Moisturizing Body Wash. So I finished this guy up. It's totally empty. I really do enjoy this product. It's a little bit spurts out at me. Yeah, it's all done. You just don't find this particular type of shower product very much in their line. And I love the way this smells. The scent notes of this are tropical white coconut saltwater breezes sun bleached woods. It's so good. Would totally buy more of this scent, but I don't need to. Next from... Zape, I have the Body Butter Sugar Scrub in the scent Malibu Barbie. So I finished this last month, I think. This smells amazing. I really do love the way this smells. I prefer the shower scrub over their moisturizer just because the moist the container the moisturizer comes in is a pain in the patootie. But this was very lovely. I'm glad to get it out of my collection because it's an indie brand and I don't know how long this will last without going before before going bad from tree hut i have the margarita citron shea sugar scrub and this was a recent finish or empty for me this was a nice scent it was on the lighter side so if you prefer lighter scented products this was really nice I don't think they make this scent anymore, but I, I did enjoy using it. I love the scrub. I just didn't like love the scent. It was nice. It just wasn't my favorite. From Peter Thomas Roth, I have the Cucumber Gel Mask. Yay. This is all done. This was a 50 mil size, so kind of half of their regular full size. Yeah, this is an okay product. I would never purchase a full size of this. I'm kind of over the Peter Thomas Roth masks, to be honest. I have other masks that I prefer other than this. I used to like this hydrating mask, but I don't really think it does much. So not a repurchase for me. Next from Thrive Cosmetics, I have the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I did not love this mascara. I think this is a, to be honest, I think I would prefer this as a bottom lash mascara. I just did not really enjoy this. There's probably still product in here, but I used it for like two months and I was like, I cannot use this anymore. I do not really enjoy it. I know this is a like Holy Grail mascara for some folks, but for me it just wasn't. So I would not repurchase. And the last item I finished were my sheet masks. So I had 10 of the Tony Moly I'm Aloe sheet masks. I didn't finish these all in the last month, but I do have six here to show you. So there were 10 total and I have six here as empties. So I, I think I finished three in the month of July. And to be honest, I don't know where, when I finished these other three, they were just hanging out here. And I was like, well, let me go. I think I had one in June. The other two must've been, been for May. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But anyway, this prompt is done or this product is done. Okay, the rest of the items I'm still working on. So I'm going to start with like skincare items and they're all kind of mishmashed over here. I don't know if you can see my stuff. So we're going to start with skincare from Peter Thomas Roth. I have the Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches and I did start using these. I finished my other eye patches last month. So I'm currently working on these and I would say I'm probably about halfway done with these. These are nice. They don't have as much juice as I would like for them to have. So that's kind of why I'm like, mm. but they're, they're okay. I'm using them and I'm, I don't hate them. I just don't love them. If you know what, I, if you know what I mean. From Biosans, I just started using this. This is the squalene and antioxidant cleansing oil. So here is it's a giant bottle. This has 200 mils. 
And it's not as big as my last one. The Bobby Brown one had... It's right here, actually. 400. So this is half the size of the Bobby Brown that I just finished. And I am down to here now. So that's how much use I have so far. And of course, I do want to finish this. So this is going to be in here for quite some time. From Dr. Jart, I have the Dermaclear Transfoam Clay Mask. So this is my progress. <laughs> Consistent with what I've used previous months. I think I typically use this like once a month or maybe twice, but I use quite a bit whenever I do use it. I think I use it once. I think I've been using this once a month or so. So still working on that. It's a decent mask. It's not as far as like clay masks, it's not the most drying. So I like that about it. From Elemis, I have the Superfood Vital Veggie Mask, and this is my progress so far. So I really do enjoy this mask. Like if I was gonna choose this one over the Peter Thomas Roth, this one all the way, I would repurchase this one. I am enjoying it. It's very, very nice. It feels good going on, and I do feel like it hydrates and nourishes my skin. From Murad, I have the Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. So this one here, I have about that much left. I am really hoping this is an empty in the next month. I have a like a, a little small tiny tube that I have in my travel bag that has some of this in it. So I won't count this officially empty until that's gone too. But yeah, that's that's what's left in this container. Once I finish this, I'll go ahead and pull out the little deluxe size little tube that I have in my travel bag and work on it as well. But yeah, this is close. I'm hoping to have this done in a month. It may eke over into the October update, I'm not sure. But that is very, very close. From Tata Harper, I have the Resurfacing Serum. This is a deluxe size sample. So I am, it looks like about down to here. Now this sits in my travel bag. I don't take it out. I really don't like this product. So I only use it whenever I'm doing overnights. It's, I don't like the way it smells. Yeah, it's almost got like a, some kind of licorice, licorice or something sent to it. I don't like it. So I don't want to work on it full time. I don't really think it does very much to be honest. So anyway, I'm using it. <laughs> I'm almost done. From Glow Recipe, I have the Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. So I just started using this since the last update and that's where I am now. And this is a nice serum. I am enjoying this. I like the way it goes on. I feel like it hydrates. I don't know that I need the recovery part, but I am enjoying the way it feels. So ceramides are good. I like ceramides. From a pharmacy, I have the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. And I just started using this since the last update for sure. But that's my progress. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I actually like this moisturizer. I didn't think that I would because it's oil-free. But I'm enjoying it. It's very, very nice. It feels good. It's my daytime moisturizer. I don't know if I would be able to use this in the evening but the other thing that i like about this is that it's silicone free and sometimes i feel like some like skincare products have way too much silicone this doesn't so i really am enjoying this moisturizer a lot from lancome i have this baby deluxe size sample of the energy dv smoothing and glow boosting liquid care this is like a serum so this also sits in my travel bag as you can see i don't have a ton left i have some trips planned in September. So I'm hoping that this will be done by the next update as well. And then from Biosance, I have these squalene and vitamin C rose oil. This is the packaging. The writing on this is all starting to like flake off. And I'm about halfway. I'm here right now. So a little less than halfway finished. I don't think I'll have this finished by the next update, but we will see. I just, I use it sparingly here and there. It's not my favorite oil. From Tata Harper, I have the Regenerating Cleanser. And I tried this out. I think I've used this twice now. I tried it out for the first time not too long ago. And this is a scrubby cleanser. So it's got little bitty like particles in there that, that exfoliate your face. So this is currently sitting in my shower. And hopefully, I'm hoping I can have this done by the next update still feels like there's a 
decent amount in here. I mean, it's still pretty full. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I have a hand cream by Bath and Body Works. This is the Waikiki Beach Coconut Shea Butter Hand Cream. And I barely use this. I just finished another hand cream. So I have a teeny tiny amount of progress. I just used a little bit of this today. I am, I had this sitting by my bed, but I'm going to pull this into my office because I currently don't have one sitting in my office. So that's where this will go and hopefully it'll get more use. And I think the last skincare item that I have is actually a product I have not opened yet, but it is literally going to be opened up this evening. This is the Algenist Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. It's the Genius line. So here is the jar. And this is going to be my nighttime moisturizer. Ooh, it's nice and thick. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, it's a lovely cream. Smells like skincare, nothing major. So yeah, I'm happy to start working on this next. So that's all of the skincare body care. I have a couple of perfumes from Toka. I have a deluxe size sample of the scent Florence. Now this is also sitting in my travel bag. So I really only use it when I'm traveling, but I was like here last time and now I'm down to here. Well, there's some hand cream sitting in my cuticle area that's where I am so I'm hoping I'll have this done next month we will see and then my second perfume is by Joe Malone this is the basil and neroli perfume or cologne I love this scent so much that's my progress so far and you can see my teeny tiny little dot right there that's what I need to get to I think I said I wanted to use a third of this so it's going well I love the way this smells Let's just spray some of it on. It smells all good. Mmm. Yummy. So, still working on that one. I think the rest of this is makeup. So, the first item I have is by Glossier. It's the rosebalm.com. So, it's this one here. As you can see, the rose is for that... Gr um, the, the green is for that green cap. And I didn't make as much progress as the previous month, as you can see. I have had this one sitting currently in my vanity, and that's why it hasn't gotten as much use. Previously, I was using this in the bathroom, so anytime I needed to hydrate my lips, like while I was doing my skincare, after I brushed my teeth, etc., I would put this on, and so I got really good use that way. But this will probably stick around for at least another couple of months at least. What I am using in the bathroom, I've got a lip balm that I'm trying to finish. It's this EOS lip balm that I'm trying to work on. But this is another lip balm that's kind of in the bathroom. And this will be like the next priority. It's by Fresh. It's the Sugar Mint Rush little deluxe size sample. And I'll throw a picture of how I'm doing on this one. I have used it a little bit. As you can see there, it's usually all the way up to the top and that's how much is left. It looks like an inappropriate lip product. <laughs> but I don't think I'll have this finished next update because I am working on that other lip balm to really finish. That's like my focus to finish it. And then this one will be next. But I'm thinking in a couple of months, this will be an empty. Another lip balm, but this is actually like a, well, it's a lip balm, but it's a different type of lip balm. Similar to the rosebalm.com. This is by Laneige. It's a lip glowing balm in pear. So this one is sitting by my couch. It really doesn't get very much use. Let's say if I'm having a no makeup day, I may put this on, but typically I'm trying to use up glosses or something. So this will eventually get moved into one of my more high, high utilized, highly utilized areas like my vanity or my bathroom or by the bed. But those are all being occupied by other lip products right now. So this one just has a teeny tiny amount of use. <laughs> Some other lip products. This is a tinted balm. This is by Pixie. It's a shea butter lip balm in the shade Ripe Raspberry. This is going to take forever. This is one of those products you use it and use it and use it and it does not move. It's a very hard lip product. So there's the shade. And you can see my progress. I have progress. But you guys, I've used this so much and it does not move. It does not move. I mean, 
Are you kidding me? I'm going to, this is going to be in here all year. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish it. Jeez. I have a liquid lipstick by Pixie and it's the matte last liquid lipstick and liquid lip, excuse me, in evening rose. I want to use this 20 times. I'm up to one. <laughs> I just used it the other day for the first time. It's a gorgeous color. Oh my gosh. I love this. It is starting to smell like it's going off. So I'm glad that I'm using it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. So pretty. And I have a lip gloss from Clinique. This is the Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss and Fizz Pop. And I have not really made much progress on this since the last update. I used it today. Well, I think this has maybe been the only time I used it in the last month. I'm working on, I've been working on other lip glosses and I have another one that I'm hitting a usage goal on, but this will be the next focus. I want to use half of this tube. A couple of eyeshadows, actually several eyeshadows from Mac. I have the shiny pretty shadow in make a wish. This is beautiful. Oh, I did not swatch the Clinique. Hold on. I do love this formula. It's really, really nice. Going back to the Mac product. So here is make a wish. This is gorgeous. I may hit pan on this before, before this project is out and I hit my goal. I want to use this 20 times. So there we go. And so far I have used it five, which is crazy because there's a huge dip. I actually think I had a dip in this before I brought it in. Next, I have another Mac eyeshadow. This is the shade shifter duochrome eyeshadow in Ho Ho Hocus. It's part of the holiday collection from last year. And I have a nice dip in this one. I love it. It's more of a fall green, but I still use it on the very outer part of my lid. And this one has seven uses so far. The last eyeshadow I have been working on and the last eyeshadow in this project is by Cleona. It is Verte. And this is a duochrome eyeshadow. I love it. Look at that purple flip. Mm. And this one I have... So far I have seven uses on this one as well. So again, 13 to go. I have one eyeliner that I have been working on. I have another one that I have not touched in like several months, but this one I have had some use on. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Overdrive. And I love this color. Love it. There's the shade. And there's the swatch. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Love it. So I want to use this one 20 times. I'm up to 15. I have five to go, which is awesome. I may leave that one in there a little bit longer unless I pull in another green eyeliner because I really am enjoying using this with green eyeshadows. And I have one foundation from CoverGirl. I have the Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin, which I do not have oily skin. <laughs> But I've used this a little bit, as you can see. There's a little bit of progress there, but not a ton. I do want to finish this. It's a better shade match for me in the fall winter when I'm not so dark. So it'll eventually, like I, I wore it the other day and I was like, oh, it's a little bit too light for me. But come fall, it'll be really nice. And actually, it's a good mixer too. So it'll, I'll definitely be using it for that purpose. The last two items are powder products and they, one is a blush, one is a highlighter. From the Balm, I have the Balm Springs Long Wearing Blush in the shade In Full Swing. So here's the packaging and here is the blush. This is a beautiful blush. Oh, I love this formula. So there's the shade. It's so nice. I want to use this 30 times and so far I have used it. 10. So I have 20 to go. And then the last product I'm working on, right? Yeah. Last product that I have to share with you today is a highlighter from Pixie. This is the glowy Gossamer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. It's all starting to rub off on the front, but there is the product there. I am starting to see a dip in these kind of hard to see but it's right around here where I tend to focus my brush anyway 
I tend to mix these together or focus on the lighter shade. So I'll show you the lighter shade, the darker shade, and the mixed. So light shade, dark shade, and mix. This would be, even, I did not think I was going to be able to wear this highlighter, but even that light shade looks really bright on me. So anyway, I want to use this 20 times. I'm up to nine. So I have 11 uses to go on that. So that is everything that I am currently working on and how I am doing. I have several items I'm not working on that I didn't share with you. I have two like full lip lipsticks, lip bullet lipsticks that I did not show you because I have not used them. They're probably better. They're going to be better for me for the fall winter. And I have a fragrance by Toka I haven't started using. That's the same size as the other one I shared. I have a facial wash. I have a like uh, balmy cleanser, several, sh two shower gels, two body creams, and that Mac eyeliner, which I'm going to use as a base in the fall winter time because it does not work for me right now. Yep. So that is everything. That is my update for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all next time. Bye. I have this hand cream by Bath and Body Works. It's the Baikiki. Baikiki. <laughs> it's the Sugar Fresh. It's by Fresh. <laughs> okay, bye.